Senator Shil Sani, who represented the Cardinal Central during the 8th National Assembly, has mimicked criminal elements in rampage in some parts of the northern kidnapping residents. In a post on his verified Facebook page on Saturday, the former lawmaker said, Despite the huge amount of money being paid as ransom, the collectors are still poor. According to him, there is an invisible force taking away the proceeds, stressing that there is no trace of wealth on the kidnappers. He wrote, Bandits continue to kidnap and kill our people in the northwest and parts of the northern central. Billions have been extorted from the families of the victims as ransom. The kidnappers remain poor and there is no traces of wealth or any form of assets or opulent lifestyle associated with them. Whenever they are arrested, they look dirty, famished and ordinary. Proceeds of the crime undoubtedly goes to invisible forces we you know we are yet to identify or no we must unravel this mystery and get to the root of this madness or we perish what is your thought about the present situation of things in nigeria what is your reaction to this that has been said according to the news senator sheo sani who represented the cardinal central during the eighth national assembly has mimicked criminal elements in rampage in some parts of the north kidnapping residents. According to what has been said, probably there is a power, an invisible force taking away the proceeds from the kidnappers because we see kidnappers demanding for billions. According to what he wrote, bandits, you know, bandits continue to kidnap and kill our people in the northwest and parts of the north central. Billions have been extorted from the families of the victims as ransom, and yet, whenever these people are arrested, they look dirty, famished, and ordinary. There's no traces of wealth or any form of assets or pop, you know, opulent lifestyle associated with them. Kidnappers are always poor. Whenever you see them, they always remain poor, and there's no traces of wealth you know, on them. Even after they have demanded for billions of naira as ransom, you know, for the victim. What is your thought about this? What is your reaction to what has been said? Proceeds of the crime undoubtedly goes to invisible force. We are yet to identify or know. What is your reaction to this that has been said? We would like you to drop your thoughts and reaction via the comment section. Don't forget that, despite the billions of naira as ransom, of which the kidnappers are demanding, the still remain poor in the north, according to what Shio Sani have said. I would like you to drop your reaction for the conversation on this planet development. But before we go, let's people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Let's see what people have felt concerning the present situation of things in Nigeria. How do you think it's possible for people, you know, kidnappers to demand for ransom, not from one person, not from two people, not from hundreds of persons, demanding billions of naira? demanding millions of naira from them and yet their lifestyle remain poor they look you know vanished they look tattered they look dirty whenever they are arrested why is their lifestyle like that probably because there's an external force that is obtaining what they have gotten the mystery is still unraveled what is your thought about this well let's see people's reactions and know their thoughts about this Olatunde Desmond reacted to this and said, They will continue to remain poorer. Useless people. God will wipe them off and destroy their generation and also their godfathers in Jesus' name. That is what Olatunde Desmond have said. What is your reaction to this? That they will continue to remain poor even while they are demanding for huge ransom. While they are demanding for billions of naira, demanding for millions of naira from people. They will surely remain poorer obviously these people are already poor and we don't even know what to do concerning their situation because obviously how will people you know demand for huge amount of ransom from you know their victims family 
as yet their life you know will still be stagnant do you think it's high time you guys you need to sit down and think about your life how will you get that huge amount of money and yet you are still stagnant what is your reaction to this according to what a lot of this month have said that they will continue to remain poorer if they don't stop all this you know dirty act of atrocities of which they are committing because the victims of which they are always you know adopting most of them their heads cannot accommodate evil so it will always fight against them tell me money that is being collected from the families of such victims how do you expect the kidnappers to make judicious use of it it will not be useful for them because this money you know some people got it through their sweat they got it through you know some true you know tears what is your reaction to this well let's move forward and see what other people reactions is about this another person reacted to this present situation but does not want his name to be mentioned he said you are on point senator these people are just food soldiers until their spouses you know are caught they will achieve nothing what is your reaction to this that has been said what is your point of view concerning this that these people will never achieve anything until their sponsors are called what is your reaction to this so obviously these people have sponsors and yet their life is started do you think it not you know every heads of the victims that have been adopted accommodate evil probably some of the you know heads that will be fighting against them what is your reaction to this present situation and yes these people have sponsors who could be the sponsors of kidnappers in Nigeria? The life of kidnappers are miserable. I don't know why people will always want to venture into kidnapping. Though most of the Nigerian leaders have said kidnapping is a business that is even more appreciated than being a right activist. That is what you know some of our leaders have said. What is your thought about this? According to what we've heard, Senator Shio Sani, who represented the Kaduna Central during the 8th National Assembly, has now mimicked the criminal element in rampage in some parts of the not, you know, not kidnapping air, you know, residents in a post on his verified Facebook page on Saturday. The former lawmaker said, despite the huge amount of money being paid as ransom, the collectors are still poor. What is your thought about this? What do you think make these people remain poor even after they have collected huge ransom, you know, for victims? What is your thought about this? I would like you to drop your thoughts and reaction by the conversation on this that has been said. Don't forget that, despite the billions of Naira as ransom, kidnappers still remain poor in the northern part of Nigeria. That is what Sheikh Sani have said that despite...